Um, hey YouTube, um, I've decided to do like my DVD update now, like the stuff I bought in America, um, just because I'm kind of bored. The internet is sort of on and off working. I can't just uh, it's just annoying. Anyways, so I'm what I'm going to do is I've got a lot of stuff to show, and I'm going to add on the stuff that I got in the UK that I'll film when I get back home. First, I'll start with. Um, Hellboy Sword of Storms. This is animated movie, obviously. Um, comes in slipcase. Um, I'll try not to be too shaky with the camera. Um, there's the back. Yeah, first Hellboy animated film. And there's another one, Blood Nine, which I've seen. It's good. Um, there's the disc. <coughs> This is kind of, this isn't really set in the same canon as um, live action movies, but it's pretty decent. I'd never seen it before buying it. Um, I got it for, can you see that? Five dollars used. I thought that was pretty good. Um, and I watched it today. It was Yeah, it was pretty good. I mean, it wasn't amazing, but you know, for five dollars, um, it's worth it and sort of complete my, well, um, continue my Hellboy movie collection. Um, but if you want a taste of Hellboy, either read the comics, which I haven't really read much of, or watch the two live action movies, which are awesome. But you know, check if you're a fan of Hellboy, or, um, or just the movies, just the movies, then then definitely check out these. Um, I like Liz in the uh, animated thingies. Um, but yeah, good fun. Not mind blowing or anything though. Next movie is Hard Candy, starring Ellen Page. I haven't actually seen this, but um, I just I've heard it's it's supposed to be really good. And um, this was also five dollars used. Ah, uh, thank God. No snappers on the side. Um, disc there. Um, I've, yeah, I've heard it's supposed to be good. Isn't it? She's like a, um, they meet on the internet, these two. And, um, uh, she's trying to find evidence when she goes back to his house that he's a, um, you know, like an internet pedophile, I guess, or or whatever. Anyways. Um, yeah, it's got some features on it. Good stuff. Um, commentary. I think. Yeah, two commentaries. So that's always a bonus. Um, yeah, hard candy. I mean, not much to say about that because I haven't seen it. Like I said. Then Feast 3, The Happy Finish. As you recall, well, hopefully, uh, last time I bought Feast 1. Um, and that was a lot of fun. I couldn't find Feast 2, so I'm going to have to watch that by other means. Um, but I found this, and I haven't watched it yet because I want to wait till I see Feast 2. Um, but I heard, uh, was it Tom who said that Feast 2 wasn't very good, but this one was. Um, special features, um, feature commentary, and a look at uh, the director. So yeah, this um, slipcase, it's a bit beaten up because I got it used again and it's hard to get off. These do have the snapper thingies. Ugh. There's the disc which is just, I don't know, I love that, it's pretty cool. Yeah, they're interested to see what the feast sequels are like seeing as um, they went straight to DVD. But same director, so. These three, the happy finish. And now we get onto the the good shit. I guess, mm, well, <laughs> yeah, I've uh, got this Teen Titans first season, which I bought for $5. I think the day I bought it, I watched Matt's latest $2 update, and um, <laughs> he had Teen Titans season 4 in there, which I thought was kind of random and funny. And this was, again, a used $5. I've not, I mean, I've watched the show, kind of, but I'm not a massive fan of it, but I was just like, 
five dollars thirteen episodes. Wow, that's a bargain. Yeah, all right. Although obviously then Matt got season four for two dollars, so compared to that, not so much of a bargain. Two discs. I just don't like the thing about this show is I just don't like the fact that it's kind of done like inspired by manga, just the style of the show. I mean, it's it's okay. It's you know it's good, but I much prefer um, Justice League. Yeah, I doubt I'll get any of the other seasons. Although Matt, if you want to send me season four, you know, feel free. Um, I don't know why you would though. Uh, I mean, I remember when before this show started, I was so pumped for it. I was like, yeah, it's gonna be amazing. And then I watched it and just the kind of manga style of it was just like, oh, I just hated that. But you know, it's all right show. 13 episodes, few features. Next, oh, yeah, I'll show this. This is amazingly awesome. <sighs> Dr. Horrible sing-along blog. Yay. 9.99 at Best Buy. Yes, I essentially paid $10 for um, like a 42 minute episode um, of television. But the most awesome episode of television ever in the history of history. Um, yeah, this is done by Joss Whedon. It was like a web, three part web thing. I guess they've just whacked it all together in one here. But um, it's like, oh, it's just amazing. If you haven't seen this, check it out. It's brilliant. Felicia, uh, Felicia, is it Felicia? Felicia Day, who's in Buffy, and now uh, she's in the Guild, and um, probably some other stuff, um, is awesome. And Nathan Fillion, obviously, from Firefly and Castle. And Neil fucking Patrick Harris, what a legend. And this has got on it commentary, the musical, which is just the dog's bollocks. So I can't wait to crack into this. This is awesome. Oh, so good. Um, man, I've got so much. Well, yeah. It's pretty much from here on out. It's all TV boxes, just as a warning. Uh, Stargate SG-1 Season 2, I'd, um, I kind of got into back, back into watching Stargate this year, um, a few months ago, and I'd already seen Season 2, but I, this was like $12 used, I thought, well, I'm not going to pass that up, am I? Comes in these, which have these discs, pretty much all look the same, I mean, that's, that's Stargate. Not really any features to speak of. Stargate is, you know, it's a good show. You know, it's not groundbreaking or anything. It's sort of good adventure, sci-fi fun. I just wish it was a bit more um, serial in it's the way they told the stories because it's all pretty much just like standalone episodes with kind of story arc going over it. But yeah, this is the re-release. Anyways, that's Stargate. Um, then we have Aqua Teen Hunger Force Volume 2. Now this is, yeah, this is the Volume 3 outer case. I bought it used, thinking it was Volume 3. Turns out it's Volume 2, um, which is fine because I don't have Volume 2. This was $8. Um, I'm just going to probably like stick a sticker over that, just that it says 2 instead of 3. Um, that is a cool cover though, isn't it? Uh, oh, I don't like this guy. Meet Ward, he's awesome. Um, yeah, that's uh, another chapter in the uh, um, Adult Swim saga. Um, yeah, good show. Um, just nuts, but yeah, very good. Uh, that's Aquatine Hunger Force Volume 2. Um, I guess, yeah, I'll show this. <laughs> this is so random, but also just awesome. And yeah, it's ALF <laughs> season two. I've never really seen this show. I watched some clips on YouTube, but I know Nick, G specialist, is a big fan. And this was used for $8. I just thought, oh, I might as well pick it up. I'm going to try and watch season one first. Um, this. Um, Alf, I think, is about a little, like, alien 
who lands on Earth and he's living with his family. It's like a sitcom kind of um, season two, four discs. Uh, not really much I can say on that because, I mean, it's Alf. I just, you know, this is for you, um, Nick, but not for you, just, you know, tribute to you.